Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Hello and Merry Christmas. Hope you're having a great Friday. I'm Matt McCutcheon with your daily news update today. The National Weather Service now confirms a total of four tornadoes hit our area on Wednesday here in Indiana. All were rated EF1 or weaker. One of those hit the Twin Oaks subdivision in Noblesville, packing winds of 100 miles an hour and damaging 16 homes. On the south side, people are spending their Christmas holiday cleaning up from that twister that hit Greenwood and tore the roof off of an animal hospital. The Weather Service also confirmed a tornado touchdown at the Rush Decatur County line and then another one hit near Fountain City in Wayne County. Some people were still without power yesterday there. Fortunately, no people or animals were hurt in any of the severe weather. Three people were killed in an overnight crash on Christmas Eve, and police believe street racing may have had something to do with it. Police say that a Ford Mustang was racing a Corvette when the Mustang driver lost control, crossed the median, and hit an SUV in the northbound lanes of Southeast Street near I-465 Thursday morning. Three people were killed in the SUV, including a 12-year-old girl. Nick Zimmerman and his friend Sean Kirkpatrick were just a few yards away when they witnessed the crash. Debris actually hitting their car as they stopped to help. I was talking to the passenger and his head was bleeding pretty good, so I took off my shirt and I gave it to him and then he got my jacket and then I went over the trailblazer and it wasn't too good over there. Witnesses tell us that the stretch of road is actually known for racing and the wet conditions made the situation even worse. The prosecutor's office will now determine if any charges will be filed. The names of the three people killed in the crash have not yet been released. Another crash claimed the life of an Indianapolis man, this one involving a train in Montgomery County yesterday afternoon. Witnesses say Kenneth Van Sickle drove his minivan to a railroad crossing, stopped and accelerated at the very last minute. That's the latest for now. Go to WTHR.com throughout the day and we hope you have a wonderful Christmas.